It's Nana Banana. Today, friends, we're going to be reading a story called My Daddy Snores. This story is written by Nancy H. Rothstein, illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. My Daddy Snores. On Monday, Daddy's snore boomed like a dinosaur's roar. The windows rattled. The walls trembled. So, Mommy played musical beds. She tried sleeping in my bed, but I hawked the blanket. She tried sleeping in Natalie's crib, but it broke. On Tuesday, Daddy snore rumbled like an earthquake. It shook Mommy right out of the bed. So, she slept in the bathtub, but the faucet dripped water on her head all night long. Drip, 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 drip. Drip, drip. On Wednesday, Daddy snore chugged like a freight train. So, Mommy slept in Hammy's cage, but it was too squished and it smelled funny. On Thursday, Daddy snore buzzed like a bumblebee. So, Mommy slept in the doghouse. Poor Rover didn't sleep a wink. He howled instead very loudly. Arr Doesn't look like either of them are getting any sleep. On Friday, Daddy snore whistled like a teapot. So this time, Mommy made Daddy sleep in Splishy's bowl. But even Daddy's bubble snored loudly. It wasn't fair to Splishy at all. On Saturday, Daddy snore honked like a truck. Mommy had a great idea. She made Daddy sleep in our tent. But he woke up all the birds. Then the birds woke us up. It was not a great idea after all. On Sunday morning, Mommy looked like a zombie having a bad hair day. No more snoring, she yelled. She took Daddy to the doctor and the doctor helped cure Daddy snoring. On Sunday night, Daddy didn't snore. Our whole house was quiet. Mommy slept, I slept, Natalie slept, Rover and Splishy and Hammy slept until, what do you think is going to happen? Daddy started talking in his sleep. Thanks, I love more ice cream.
The end. What a funny story. My daddy snores. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.